Say something about this uh, situation that will be coming up on the target of this uh, month. And from my own view, I think the situation um, will be more observed in Biafra land than in Lagos states. So I would like each and every one of us here to say something. IPOB, one family. family. IPOB, one family. Well, I want to thank everybody for being present here today. Like we do say, when we are talking about our Heroes Day, we all know that is an observance that is founded upon our journey or is a very vital cardinal point of our journey to restoring our nation. Why we say that it is a cardinal point is that we are only trying to appreciate, recognize, and then commend the efforts of our heroes in the time past because we are continuing this journey based on the sacrifices our heroes of old made. We are only recognizing the price they paid. We are only recognizing the efforts they made. We are only recognizing the platform that they established upon which we are standing to continue the journey. IPOB, one family. And so we are saying that when we are talking about the Heroes Day, we are talking about the very accomplishments that our parents of old made, which gave us the mind, which gave us the steam, which has brought about the translocation of the efforts of old into our own hearts, thereby empowering us, thereby engineering us, thereby reinvigorating us in order to continue the journey presently. And so when we're talking about our Heroes Day, I said that we cannot be like the people that Igbo people speak about when they say that somebody that does not know where the rain started beating him, definitely he will not know where that rain started beating him. And so we cannot be like that particular individual who does not recognize those, you know that foul that was, uh, that had his tail removed during the rainy season and then it comes back to forget the person that he removed his tail. And so we are saying that as we are recognizing the Heroes Day, we are recognizing the efforts of old. And that is why, you know, I was saying that in the time past, one time, even when the leadership was under a subterfuge, under a treacherous and the sabotageous and scavengerous and treacherous leadership, being spearheaded by somebody that did not mean to take anybody anywhere, the people, because of their zeal, because of their interest, because of their enthusiasm, cooperated to such an extent that the federal government of the British in humanity called Nigeria recognized it and they began to say, by way of saving face, that it was their New Year festival that they were observing. And so that one shook the nation to the point that the world had about it, even under a false and treacherous leadership. Now, how much more? when people have come to appreciate the very fact that what we are saying, that the destination we are going, that the vision we have earmarked is actually the vision we are pursuing. IPOB. And so we are saying that under such a circumstance, even though we may have been told, just like we want to ensure that there is a total cooperation, total enforcement, total observation, in Biafra land. We are saying that being Biafrans, wherever we are, that is how we can show our solidarity. That is how we can show our involvement. That is how we can show our being integrated into the project that we claim to be pursuing. And that is why it is incumbent on every Biafran, wherever he is, wherever she is, to ensure that he observes that hero's day. Because it is something that we are observing as an honor to those that have gone before us, which is also a reinvigoration, a solidification of our own resolve to continue the race 
until victory is finally won. Yes. So when we're talking about our heroes' day, when we're talking about our heroes' day, we are saying that it is something that everybody must participate in all over the world, wherever we are, so that the world can know that we have a destination and that we must reach that destination. IPOB. In relation to what our our able pastor said, like last year, 30th of May, I was not officially an iPod member then. That day, I didn't go to work. So people came asking of me, because me, I did talk about BF before I went to iPod, so I was crazy about everything online, offline. So some people, when they come looking for me, they say, ah, he's a BF man, no, he didn't come. So the awareness was created around me there. To put that was not aware I was a beer fan person, like that kind of person, they knew about it. Even I had a Yoruba friend, he definitely called me. He said, Where I was, I said, I didn't come to market. He said, Had it been I came, we would have come and scattered my place. <laughs> this one, Yoruba guy, telling me, he called me on phone, like he knew about my, both we were a friend of his, we knew how I talk, I was really crazy about him. Yeah. So it's not, to me, oh, I saw it on the horn. That's why I was not an iPod member then. But for those, because I small cherish the members of the dead, it's amazing. So for those that have died and lived their life for BFR courts, it's worth it. No matter who you are, no matter what you think you are, at least, if not for anything, it's worth it. And another thing, last year, last year, uh, see that home day, if it was only in BFR land alone, I don't think that quick note would have come. Because our people in the north stayed back. That was what really annoyed them the most. They didn't go to work, they didn't go to market. So it was like if they are also so to them they feel they are part of them. Why they don't know that they also part of us. So it's a very good thing that anywhere you are, be it in Lagos, be it anywhere, just stay in your house. Just create an empire. Even though you know you have to be in your house all day. But that will normally go every day. Just be absent from there. Let people ask and then let them know there's something happening. That's what I can add. It's an honor. To honor ourselves, not even the ones that have led their life in this very struggle. We are remembering them and we are honoring ourselves. Why? Because we are a species of a people. We come from a people that are originally known as men and women of honor. So we are honoring ourselves, remembering our brethren that led down their life concerning this cause. We are saying wherever they are, they are great. And the people they left behind are greater because we are still on the same page. Whether dead or alive, we are still on the same page. What we are going to do is self-evangelism. We are not carrying gun, we are not carrying matches. Our own is to tell the heaven and the earth the truth. We are carrying out one by one evangelism. Any Biafran you see, tell him that these great men and women, children, that the British and their cohorts, Modern. Hausa, Fulani, Stroop, Yoruba, murdered. We are remembering them today. Praise the Lord. All hell Biafran. We are carrying what self, one by one evangelism. Wherever you see a Biafran, remind him of 30th of men. That is all I want to say. Okay. Our uncles that are nowhere to be found. Our aunts, our nephews, cousins, all of them that are nowhere to be found. They started this, this uh, Biafran struggle and they couldn't get it up. This time around, it is our turn. Whatever we are asked to do, let's do it wholeheartedly to make sure that we get this Biafra. To let the world know what we have been suffering, what we have suffered, and what they are still subjugating us into. Please, I want everybody, wherever you are, it's no longer the issue of the Biafra land. It's the, the, the nationwide issue, wherever you are. If you come from the east, you know too whether you are part of the 30th man. Sit at home. Sit at home.
think about your great nation. The nation that will come very soon. Other nations are scared. Whenever they come across Biafra. Biafra that has not we have not been observing now. They are scared. What about when we started observing Biafra? What will happen? It will be catastrophe on their heads, wherever they are. So I urge each and every one of us here today, when it comes to that yet, we observe it. Then comes to the evangelism, as we have said here as well. Wherever you are, we are going to do individual evangelism. Whosoever you know to where that cannot speak and that does not have the emblem of an evil. Biafran. Wherever they are. The Biafran in general. Evangelize to the person. Tell the person what the target man is all about. Just just don't just tell the person uh, we have sit at home because some may not be able to understand what this sit at home is all about. Tell them that we are mourning and remembering our forefathers that we are slaughtered, not murdered this time around. You know what I mean by being slaughtered? Our sisters, our mothers that we are raped. If you can go back to history, you discovered or you heard that some of our mothers, some of our sisters, we are taken away to the nuts and they were forced to the religion themselves and bear their names. But irrespective of that, the blood still flows. That is the blood of the Africa. So I want everybody, wherever you are, wherever you are staying, you make sure you evangelize. IPOB, one family. IPOB, one family. Then we move over.